<laughs> I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? It's your boy Sinter with the Intel, and as you can see, Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Wagwan, <laughs> brethren. Hey, you already know what this is. This is Doctor Who. We are actually kind of knee deep into season six. Uh, but before we hop into that, we're going to jump into a couple of these mini shows. The first one on deck is called Bad Night. Make sure you stay to the very end because you already know me and Rakai. We're going to chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over the things we've enjoyed and over some of the things we may be scratching our heads about. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. I wonder who the TARDIS's carrier is. Someone pick up the phone. <laughs> It's definitely not AT and T because it would be an immediate drop yeah. call. <laughs> this back in the day when you still had house phones too. Yeah. And you start hollering at your kid. I know y'all hear that damn phone. What year is this? I think that's probably for me. <laughs> Hold this. My man got a top hat and a goldfish. What? Yeah. She's fine. Look, your mum is your mum is fine. Don't answer this phone. I answer this phone. Where have you been? What? Um. Yes, your mum is here actually, but she can't come. What? It's your son, Mom. He wants to talk to you. What? There is not a bit of use yelling, Ambassador. Your warrior chief is trapped in my TARDIS, and until you've... Warrior chief? It's popping you on hold. <laughs> like this... We jumped into a whole world of zany right now, so... Yeah. Oh. What was that? What have you done? I thought it was a fly. Yeah. The slaughter of 10 billion souls. What is going on? When you're dressed up, you never dressed oh. up. It was River at the party. Oh, why would she be then? Because it's your boot. <laughs> don't, don't yeah, do yeah, that. that's your boot. Yeah, don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How is she? Fine. Mm. See, Robin. <laughs> Rory! What are you doing? What? Face on, I always shout for Rory when you've got the serious. <laughs> Y yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> now she's having an emotion. It's his turn. <laughs> he said it's his turn. It's the wrong fish. Oh. I've taken the wrong fish. Oh, no. Oh, the Lord. Fish. Oh, River was at the party. Look. <laughs> Stay. I've got three hours yeah. to come on. Trying to talk about she wasn't at the party. The pet shop's open. This dude. <laughs> This is one of those things where you just kind of, you just kind of, just kind of run. Yeah, you just kind of, kind of go with it. Be like, okay. <laughs> I don't really. Now the craziest, the the craziest part though is when he looked at the fly and he said, "What have you done? So much for the slaughter of ten billion souls." Said, Wait, what? Yeah, there's we, there's a disconnect. Like, some context. Listen, <laughs> if if every fly is a, a, is uh, attached to ten billion souls, listen, I didn't kill the whole world. <laughs> the ender of worlds. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so that is. I'm the scourge of the fly population. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is uh, the first of the two parts that we're doing on on these shorts. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, the second one going. <laughs> I was. I don't know what to think about that. That's nuts. All right, let's get this bad boy going. This one is called Good Night. Okay, I hope it's better than this slaughter of 10 billion souls. <laughs> this still, he be zooted and booted though. Yeah. What, what kind He's, of instrument is that? What is yeah. that? Uh, it's a, a, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a, a, it's the a, one in between trombone and a tuba. Okay. Uh, do, you do this every night. Oh, that! <laughs> You're trying to conceal a euphonium guiltily. Has that ever been attempted before? Euphonium. Wow. Euphonium. I would have never guessed that. No, I was actually looking it up right now. Is this what you do at night when we're sleeping? Have oh extra God. adventures. I sound like my baby every time I turn on the PlayStation. Is this what you do? Actually, tell me for once. <laughs> He's like, uh, yes. Yes, it is. So tell me what it is you do. <laughs> so be sneaking out having adventures. Mm-hmm. Wrote to history of the universe, all in jokes, and did a bit of locum work in Brixton. <laughs> it's very short-staffed. You asked. All the friends you meet just 
flickering and I must hardly notice us. Mm. Somebody's in their feelings. A little bit. And then you did whatever it was you did and rebooted the universe and, and suddenly I had parents. Mm. Oh, yeah. I remember both lives in my head, both mm -hmm. of them in my Ooh. head at the same time. That is fine, isn't it? Yeah, but it shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. The mm. thing is, Amy, everyone's memory is a mess. Life is a mess. Fact. Couldn't have been on a party they never went to. That's true. Time is being rewritten all around us every day. Because we was in the Matrix. Memories are fine. Mm. Past is really like that. A little bit of Mandela effect, too. Did I drop in an ice cream? That can't be my saddest memory. Remembering ice cream is always sad. Mm. What does she look like? She looked like she... She had a funny dress, a night dress. <laughs> it's probably your mama. Mm-hmm. It's her. Did I buy myself an ice cream? Cheer up. Have an ice cream. Amy, time and space. It was you. I like these little shorts. They're like, um, they're like appetizers, you know, uh, mm -hmm. just a little something to prepare you uh, for, for the main dish. Yeah, just, just a little morsel. Yeah, mm -hmm. just, just, just mm -hmm. a little snick bit. Uh, was there anything that you, that you pulled from any of these two episodes that may, you know, a little more added knowledge that you think is significant? That one right there mm -hmm. where, uh, he was talking about how memory works and stuff and it just, it does, it reminds you when you have those moments of deja vu or you're remembering something, you quite can't quite remember mm -hmm. something is like wait that doesn't make sense or how do i know this if i don't think i was actually there it's just the thing about memory and especially as you get a little bit more vintage mm -hmm. and start to lose parts of that memory um doing stuff like that is, is nice little glimpses into it so to see this from the doctor especially somebody who specializes in moving through time and space that was interesting yeah yeah um i think um i have one weird random question uh does the doctor sleep i mean i know he's not human he may not need to sleep because you know while everybody else is napping and he's out here having like these random adventures uh that's just hmm, like he never stops uh, just a just a random thought well you know the interesting thing about him having two hearts mm -hmm. I would think with two hearts that he's probably on the go twice as much as we are. <laughs> but that would probably also mean that he needs to sleep twice as much as we do. So maybe I don't, he doesn't strike me. As I don't know. To rest. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, I think it's, you know, all that cosmic energy that's in the TARDIS. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, and he'd been doing this for 900 some years. So, you know, maybe that kind of recharges him, you know, so he doesn't go to, go to sleep but being in the TARDIS or whatever kind of charges going. him back up so he doesn't actually need to sleep yeah <laughs> all right and then my last lithium battery my, my, my last little tidbit how you feeling about you know him and River out partying partying the night away and especially considering you know how she got her last first kiss and like a couple episodes ago in any context I don't think I don't think any much about it now because she's married to Rory and like we saw in um the first one in Bad Night, mm -hmm. when she got into her feelings, he, ah, uh -uh, mm -mm. Rory, come on, yeah. she's feeling emotional. Uh, uh, it's your turn. You deal with this. No, no, <laughs> not me. <laughs> okay, all right. I think that's a good place, kind of like stick a fork in this bad boy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with episode five. The Rebel Flash. Night. Beatles in leather. <laughs> Get out of the bus. Oh. Mm. You've killed us. Yes. You just jump on in the. Nice going, Twinkle Toes. Good thing that ain't lava. Nice going, Twinkle Toes. I miss my boy's birthday. Fell yeah, my man's a sizzling. Y'all ain't gonna help him? Word? Lights. Yeah. He told me he said, nah, it's a wrap. He said, what, you want us to just carry you back legless? Nah, we good. Dang, like no emotion towards that? Had an accident in the workplace, yeah. I have as it goes. I've melted. I'll let it go. What? 
It wasn't my fault. She took a swing at me. I never touched it. You got two left feet, Buzzer. I haven't got two left feet. Wait, what the hell? Jen, this body costs money, love. Not as much as that acid suit. So that must have been like his avatar or something? Like anyone was hurt. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh. What the heck? Well, they just they just got clones out I, here. I guess. Huh. Yeah, what were we on episode five? Yeah. Comes from somewhere else. Yeah, I'm so sick of this right now. <laughs> he said, and I'm done. <laughs> Textbook landing. Behold, a cockerel. Love a cockerel. <laughs> Sorry, it's just funny to me. <laughs> 13th century. Oh, we've gone all medieval. I'm not sure about that. Really? Medieval expert, are you? No, it's just that... I mean, he did live through it. By a magnetic quake that occurs just before the wave hit. Well, the monastery's standing. Yeah, for now. What? Word? The snow globe? There isn't. Right, let's go. Satisfy our rabbit... So this artist's name was Dusty Springfield. Is that a real person? Or is that just a... Random it probably characters. is. Okay. I've, I've never heard of that person, so. Yeah. There are people coming. I made an oopsie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to state the obvious to you. <laughs> So these people in the Matrix, right? <clears throat> ah, that's what it is. Yeah, their consciousness is in... And out sunblock? <laughs> <laughs> I need to see your critical systems. You know which one. I'm so confused. This is like, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna skip all the pseudoscience babble. <laughs> you know which one. The one? Yeah, that one. Let's not play this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, what's my direction for this one? I need you to use your Christian Bale Batman <laughs> voice. Can you do that? At the cellular level. Right. Okay. Lost. I saw that in Star Trek in Discovery. These bodies get burnt or fall in the acid. I do the old cares. Right, Jen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he ain't let it go. Don't Careful, turn. don't touch it. Oh. Uh, Well, he's a wild boy. He just put his hands in it? Just ran? Personalities directly into it. Yes. Him and the snow globe, man. <laughs> First waves come in pairs. Pretty sure can full shock. Uh-huh. It's about to Frankenstein that goo. Stop. Now why don't you stand back and let us impress you? Mm. That, don't, that, that don't sound good. The meter is running. We got it. We got a ticking time bomb clock. Is she gonna get back in her chair? She got a online motor functions. Oh, uh, you are so red shirted. D does she have a name? Did they give her a name? Jennifer. Oh, okay. Jennifer. Well, maybe not. She might not be red shirted then. I don't know who that one dude is that then already died once this episode. Yeah, he's definitely red shirted. Would you want a goo buddy? Hell no. <laughs> somebody you can play, play somebody you can play PlayStation with. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, that don't look right at all. Cause to me, my goo buddy, it'd be just my Oh hell no. No, thank you. Miracle of life. No need mm. to get poncy. It's just gunge. Guys, we need to get to work. But is it? They accents are so thick this episode. I've got to get to that cockerel before all hell breaks loose. I never thought I'd have to say that again. <laughs> See, it's not just me. I thought it was funny, too. <laughs> so many things like I definitely would not want to walk outside and see that right there. Like. Nah, that's a whole lot of nope. Mm -mm. That's when you close the door and go by the other direction. Yep. <laughs> and I'd be like, uh, Amy, Rory, let's roll out. <laughs> we out. <laughs> we out. Look at there. I'm just looking at this like. Mm -hmm. Invasion of body snatches. It's Uh-oh. Oh, it's acid, everybody. Everybody gets acid. Uh, oh, it's creeping up on the TARDIS. Not the TARDIS, baby. 
And you oh, and your little whoa. cherry. Oh, hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Oh yeah, they definitely getting Frankenstein. You can feel it. Yep, it's alive. It's alive. Mm. What's the name of this episode? Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> the Rebel Flesh. The Rebel Flesh. Yeah. Sound like a Wu-Tang Okay, yeah, song. that... That <laughs> sound like... Uh, that sounded like a, a video in a different uh, genre of entertainment. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> corn. Yes. The, or the horn the corn. industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yes, yeah, the yeah. Rebel Flesh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Sounds something completely different. I abandoned my team. Then let's go get them. How long would you say we... Is that really her, like... Two minutes, two minutes? I'd have to whip it out a teensy bit longer. Well, how long? An hour. Teensy, teensy bit. Mm. A lot can go wrong in an hour. Mm. And no S-ray. Mm. Like but I like, I don't... Is that really her? Because yes. she, she was real sharp at the mouth. She was real sharp at the mouth earlier. Now she's like, you were right, doctor. I abandoned my team. Like, is that her? I thought I was going to die. Welcome to my world. Mm. Oh, listen. He's like, let me tell you about this 2,000 years mm. I walked around. Don't worry. When the link shuts down, the gang has returned to pure flesh. Now, the storm's left us with acid leaks all over, so we need to contact the mainland. Yeah, right. No, those are the gangers. That's my record. Who's playing my record? Yo. Oh, I do know this yeah, song. Who's playing, who's playing my record? Ah. Mm-hmm. Stop. They had a whole hour. That's what I'm saying. A lot could happen in an hour. They could have swapped hey, those bodies you know, out. Now, I've never seen the movie, but from what I hear, mm -hmm. this has turned into the first version of, uh, what was that movie, Us? Oh, right. Good call. If this has Ooh. actually happened, they can't remain stable without us plumbed into them. I don't know. That shock changed everything. You, you think? I'll come with you. Sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. You don't get your infected ass away from me. So what? My gun that did that. Oh, so. uh, listen, Snide, get out of my head. This reminds me of the original version of The Thing. The doctor's always saying, don't wander off. First rule with him, actually, don't wander off. Yeah, don't, no. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Sure. Take all the time. I've got you back. But don't wander off, though. Oh, see? Uh-huh. Yup. I knew there was gangers. Jennifer? Gangers in denial. <laughs> She's unstable still, but I bet the other ones are stable. When in fact, it was an hour. Sorry, I just assumed. Well, it's not your fault. Like I said, they're disorientated. Mm-hmm. So the real people got their stuff and bounced. They said, hell no. Jennifer. She was standing on a room when we got to her. But they done left the doctor now. Look, it don't even affect her. The place burning hot. Uh. She had to be told it's hot. You the gang, boo. Not quite fused properly. What are you talking about? It's okay. You the ganger. Mm -hmm. You'll stabilize. No, stop it. You're playing stupid games. Stop it! Mm. Yeah. Please, trust me. I'm the doctor. <laughs> and she's gonna let her go. She gets let us sort it out. Yeah. There's Rory. nothing like knees to chest to help Rory. you get Rory. things together. Always with the Rory. Always with the Rory. <laughs> if he took off running, why would he run back to the group? He ran somewhere random. No, no, sir. And push some things over on her, push her in that damn acid. Mm. Wait, what's going on? Where's the real Jennifer? See, that's the real question. Like, where are the where are the real people at? Yeah. And okay, so they were in the chairs, but why would the people leave the doctor 
Amy and Rory behind too. Going back to the TARDIS, wait for me in the dining hall. I want us to keep together. Okay? Is the TARDIS still on standing ground? And remember, it's falling into the acid. The stress flares. Stress. Oh. At least wait for an acid suit. At least wait for an acid suit. <laughs> That this Scottish is is so thick. I love it. I can Did still you feel now? how sore my toes got inside my red willy boots. Oh, not the red mm. willy boots. She'd lead me home. Yeah, Sophie's right. She do need like a case of smart water. No. <laughs> oh, it's not an excellent callback. Moisturize me. <laughs> <laughs> she do need some olive oil or something. She need. I noticed your eyes right off. Did you? Did you? Don't be trying to flirt with me. Where's the real Jennifer? That question. Every girl. How about? Day, every child. Tell me what happened an hour ago. I am me. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, me, me. Uh, I'm not a monster. If you guys say you're not a monster. Help me, Rory. Help me. Ah, uh, listen. Ugh. It's at that, that point where you get stabbed in the gut. Too <laughs> trusting. Yeah. Where are the real people? Yes. I feel so sorry for the goo. Look, that thing be talking to the to the sonic screwdriver. Didn't the goose scan the doc though? Yeah, he mm -hmm. said got all up in his mind like it was scanning him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. Oh, uh, that's mm -hmm. the doctor right there. Yep. <laughs> he got sunroof. Oh. Now you gotta walk around in your socks. Yeah. Mmm. And got rid of his little booties. None. Gone. Yeah. But there's actually leaking uh, everywhere. They're not the They're not the gangers, y'all the gangs. Oh uh, wait, wait a minute. Okay, so maybe they were the real people. Wait, that one in the back was a dude to sneezing, right? Yeah. We can move freely. Strike at will. Oh, so. Are you sure you're feeling better? I'm confused. Yeah, it's, it's it's a mix with some of the real people. Stronger. The doctor won't hurt. See, like, she's a ganger. Mm -hmm. oh, Jennifer, okay. Use my name. Use my name, thank you. Uh, don't get that shit on me. Yeah, she is. Facts. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> he had to Look bask right. in that moment for a second. <laughs> ah, what the hell? Is that the real Who one? That? It's the real one. Real Jennifer. No. No, that, no, that was the real, uh, the captain or whatever, the, mm -hmm. uh, the leader lady. What are your right mind just out here? You just out here sneaking around by yourself, like. What the hell? There she go again. That was from her still childhood. Watching. Yeah, yeah that... still watching. You're okay. What happened? The way he looked at Rory. Look, he's like, why are you holding her hand? Rory, listen. No, you listen. Nobody touches her. The hell is... She was like, you don't get your hands off my man. Now you're out here protecting another woman? Mm -hmm. You might be a gang of fool. <laughs> might catch a gang of these hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, uh -oh. gang of your ass gonna be sleeping on the couch. And don't do stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretending to be like her. Rory, um, we don't really know anything. Probably, about and probably you probably don't want to provoke her. Like you don't know what she do. Befriend them. Team up with them, why don't you? Make a football team, how about See? that?
That's how that her attitude lets me know she the real one. The storm has hardwired them. They are becoming people. What? Souls. Rubbish. <laughs> Bless you. That's gonna I need an answer for that. That's how you know which one of him's the real one. The one with the allergies. And they told me I had a wee boy and I just burst out laughing. <laughs> hmm. No idea why. That's wild. Yeah. It's unsettling. <laughs> hey, bye bye, gum. Or not good. Right. Yeah, that joke did not land. Get everyone safe. Then get everyone out of here. But we're still missing Jennifer and Cleve. She's squeezing the hell out of his hand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hand, if you like. Cover more ground. Uh huh. I feel a murder coming. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, great. You see, that is just so typically me. <laughs> <laughs> but you call a glorified cattle prod a she. When the real people are safe. <laughs> They're monsters. Mistakes. They have to be destroyed. Give me the probe, please. She's like, I'm so proud of me. Mm -hmm. And uh, even when we don't really know what the hell is going on. Zoinks! Got him. Yeah, that was stupid. He did just run up on her. That's probably the real dude. That probably ain't even ganger. Look at what you've done. Cleave. Got her wild and beat. It's war. Straight to war? It's us and them now. She couldn't be happy. Mm. And them. Us and them. She just killed one of your own, didn't you? I don't know who got killed. You tried. We all tried, and look what they did. No, yeah, that's like, okay, be out. Hmm. I'll take care of the spare one running around out there. The spare one. Yeah. That's the, other the hell does that mean? We still don't know where the real Jenny is. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the real Jenny. Trust me. And now we got new Doc. Oh, wonderful. And if he's got all the Doc's memories and all that other stuff. He's a monster. He's a monster. <laughs> Cause like even his skin looked all gray, he looked like old Dracula. The most fortified and defendable room in the monastery. He can run show up like he's in Morbius. <laughs> Please, you've killed one of them. They're coming back in a big way. Mm. Mm. Oh, they suited up. They got they we ready for war suit. So. She's got any sense and she's hiding. Rory! I can't leave her out there. I mean you keep acting like like Jim was your boo. Who that? Show yourself. Show yourself. Oh, that's who? Yes, it's insane. And it's about to get even more insane. <laughs> insane error. Frankly, a total utter splattering mess on the carpet, <laughs> but I am certain, 100% certain, that we can work this out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, the I'm the doctor. I'm the doctor. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching. Uh, oh, that was good. That's good. I, yeah. I, was, I can't lie. I was looking at the clock a little bit. I'm like, we're running out of time for them to wrap this bad boy up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, it was. We, we did. See, we did kind of see that coming. You know, when when the goo mm -hmm. was whispering and all of that. Um, yeah. Yo. Uh, you know, I, I love. I love when the season you know jumps into the two parters. This is this is kind of right on time. Um, it's it's interesting. You know, it's it's a who done it. We still don't know where real Jen is. Uh, we got you know goo who real Jen. Um, we don't know. One of them, one of them died. Which one was the one that died? Which one of the goo people died? Uh, it doesn't really. Uh, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so how how you feeling about the two parter so far? Um, that was cool. Um, Murray Gold, of course, you know, as always, did his thing and try to keep the uh, the score mm -hmm. kind of suspenseful, kind of uh, you know, on a like a thriller type of thing. Okay. It did have some references to other properties we know, The Thing, mm -hmm. um, you know, some of these other uh, 
you know, almost invasion of the body snatchers type of type of deal. Um, so that's cool because it made it, uh, you know, relatable. Yeah. It was a tad bit predictable at parts. Um, and this whole use of uh, this, I guess, this abandoned church has been turned into a acid factory of some kind mm-hmm. or whatever. So the use of kind of like a central location is very interesting. Um, I'm waiting to see how they close this out. Like if I were to give this a, if I were to give this a score, I would say it's a, if, you know, because you can't use seven. Can't seven's use a seven. I would say seven's a coward's yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> I would say a, a very, a very high six, oh. uh, like, you know, six, eight, six, nine. It was more towards the mid kind of scale than upper echelon for hey. me. Okay. I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I can I can understand why why we would think that. I think um for me because there there are elements of storytelling that we've seen before. You know, we've had this argument, this discussion many times before. There's only I think like seven or eight real stories in the world and they're all been kind of like re- retold and rehashed. So I'm not too mad about the the story being retold. It's for me it's like what was I engaged? So um you know, you can't you can't pick sevens. I th- I think it's more of an eight. It's a low eight. You know, than than mm-hmm. it is than it is a six. Just because I was under for, for the entertainment factor of it all, um, and then just the payoff of having a goo hoo, uh, that that's enough to, to kind of like push it just over enough to, to to be an eight. But I certainly share you know a lot a lot of your sentiment. Um, yeah, I do. I I do absolutely love the fact that in the second part of this, mm-hmm. um, we're gonna have a. a double dose of the doctor <laughs> that's double fantastic duty. yes yeah um <laughs> but I, I i i think you know as we always talk about there's two elements to what makes something good normally mm-hmm. story yep what would you say the story is familiar yeah um very good start to the story mm-hmm. um but the problem why it dropped to a high six for me instead of being on the eight side okay. is um villain Mm. oh okay it's not it's not it's not clearly defined you know what i'm saying like is cleaves and the humans the villains are the bangers the villains like the the villain thing is not clearly defined Mm. or um you know is the villain you Mm. you are you are your own worst enemy you know so do you, do you feel? I thought about that when when Cleves the, when the banger of Cleves said she's like she's like oh that is so very me you know. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> um, did the uh, did the earlier shorts tie in anything with you regarding memory and the importance of it and it defining kind of like who you can be and how that's kind of bleeding over into like Goo Jennifer, who's who can only def- who can only define who she is based off of the memories that that she's had did you feel any connection with that only in one part okay um and so in season five we got the constant the crack the smiley face in almost every episode yeah so just like you know in case you weren't paying attention (laughs) you know that's right here um so the back going back to pretty much episode one of uh season five the lady um, with the eye patch joint, you know, with the like in the little prison door thing where the thing slides closed. Yeah. Like she's shown up a whole bunch of episodes messing with Amy's mind. Yeah. That, you know, again, that's the in case you're not paying attention. Yeah. This part right here. So is that tie back to the prison break from episode one of season five? Does that tie directly into the silence? Mm. You know, uh, what are we talking about here? Like that's at some point got to pay off. But again, that's that memory thing. Like there was a reason why she, you know, had the whole discussion with him in the shorts about her being able to recognize two completely different memories going on in her head. Yeah. So yeah, I think that I think for them to throw that mini so in there, that's not just random. Right. That's going to come and it's going to have a payoff later. Okay. Yeah, I think I feel that. 
uh, to address some of the questions in the chat. And in case you are uh, wondering who it is that we are talking to, uh, we have a Discord uh, where Patreon members get a chance to watch us react live uh, to some of our favorite projects, including uh, Doctor Who. And one of the perks of being a Discord member is that we get to address some of your comments. Uh, first up, uh, Sophie said, uh, I'm getting more invasions of the body snatchers. That's uh, in reference mm -hmm. to, um, mm -hmm. you know, doing hat tips to other projects uh, that, you know, that go through the, the standard of re um, uh, reusing some of the old forms of storytelling, you know, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, you you mentioned, um, not Get Out, but uh, Us kind of does that as well. Uh, the Thing is another one of those. Uh, Sophie also said, uh, so Rory is officially down to, is down to his last brain cells if she didn't try to kill him. Uh, that is in reference to when Rory was trying to save Goo Jennifer. Um, and then mm -hmm. he kind of forgot that, you know, you could yeah. be you could be a bit of an enemy. Um, let's see, Dr. Leviathan said, um, so far the real people have been more monster uh, than their than their gangers. Apart from the ganger, uh, excuse me, apart from the ganger Jennifer, uh, she's a little violent. Uh, first off, thank you, Dr. Leviathan, for for bringing in that that bit of. Uh, uh, commentary uh brookie said yay double matt smith yes i i feel that you know you if only thing better than one matt smith uh is two uh cheeky said i prefer the stories that throw the morality and place of the villain into question that's probably my favorite part mm -hmm. of this one and each side is convinced the other is the villain at the at the yeah, moment and only the I doctor do and the companions are serving uh as mediators mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. ariel said i really that's like very nice yeah Ariel said, uh, I really liked her self-reflection, seeing herself for who she really is, uh, basically. Let me ask you a random question, man. You know, we got we got Guru Kai in the house. Are you getting along with Guru Kai? Do you trust yourself? Um, on most days, yeah. <laughs> yeah, most, <laughs> most days. You know, I do have, uh, definitely, I do have those days that I'm going to, you know, crash out and just, you know, just go, uh, you know, on a, homicidal spree so um, <laughs> you know and really and that's the thing like you asked me early in the episode yeah. would i want a goo version of myself mm -hmm. and my reason for saying no is really that mm -hmm. because i have put a lot of work into being me that me that i am right here right now and that includes not crashing out and just going on a wild killing spree and just <laughs> not being Stop being concerned with morality and all that type of stuff and mm -hmm. be like, you know what? I want something. I'm just going to take it, you know? Um, what if the goo version of me, you know, even though they have all the memories and stuff, but what if they don't have the same inclinations to temper myself, to be um, uh, really not obsessed, but really concerned mm. with the consequences of my actions? Okay. You know, what if they're... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to act on my every worst impulse. Mm. You know, there's no being that is 100% good or 100% evil. Fact. <laughs> um, you know, even the ones that are super, super evil, they're probably 99% evil and there's 1% good of it. It's just buried so far. You're not going to find it. So far gone. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's you know, um, and it's the same thing with the people that are 100% good you know you think that are 99 percent good in the right circumstances present themselves you might see that one percent of evil mm. um and i just i wouldn't want uh there was a movie that i used to love michael keaton um oh multiplicity, multiplicity. i remember that you went back that's a deep cut okay and and that that yeah him and andy mcdowell and that seemed like to make his life easier he, however, he made these clone versions of himself. Mm -hmm. But I remember very clearly that they said, you know, it was, uh, again, uh, for us vintage folks, you know, uh, <laughs> Z Z Xerox, you yeah. know, when you make a, a copy and the copies started to deteriorate because then the copies got the ideas like, hey, we got too much to do. We need some more of us. And they started to make copies of the copies mm -hmm. and the the integrity, you know, started to weaken and be, you know, you got one at the end, he's a slobbering idiot. <laughs> and that kind of is the thing that gets me about this. Yeah. Like, if you make a copy of me, like even a, a twin, a identical twin is not the same as me. A clone wouldn't be the same as me. 
So what are the the differences? Yeah. You know, or even worse, even worse is if there's a copy of me and I'm concerned about it being a the worst version of myself. Okay. What if a copy came along and it's actually the best version of me? Ooh. Mm. Let's see. That's interesting. Yeah. There's a um there's a, there's a uh an animated series on right now called Invincible. Uh and there's these two bad guys that are in Invincible, these two blue guys. They're they're, they're super geniuses. And one in order to make his um in order to get the work done a lot faster, made a copy of himself. And as a result of it, it's such an identical copy that the copy doesn't know that he's a copy and the real guy doesn't know if he's a copy. So they both mm -hmm. have to keep each other kind of like in, in an unknown space because of what you just said, because one could think that he's better than the other. And if he does, he will end up killing the other version of himself. So it was just this interesting thing of like, how do you deal with yourself when you know that version of yourself maybe going on a different path maybe smarter maybe dumber more empathetic or whatever it is and you can be jealous of yourself uh, it was just yeah that's 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 kind of dope so i can see where you're where you're going um with that let me let me ask you this because i said from my knowledge of it and i've never seen the movie okay how does this kind of relate to some of the underpinnings of uh, the jordan peele movie us yeah yeah so there were copies of it in one it, it, there's an interesting thing about dealing with with morality right because one copy is trying desperately to take its own to take control of its own life and in the very end you kind of find out that you know the one with the more moral values i believe i believe that's how it ends in the very end is actually the copy and not the original um i think that was the twist god it's been so long since i watched that so i think it's i think it's kind of close of course uh let me know in the chat if i am off on that i believe i, I may be but that whole duality that's that's the whole thing you know what 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 do you do um when a version of yourself you know could be better could be evil you know do you, do you take it out do you live with it do you you know it's, it's yeah it's very um twilight zone ish uh i think uh i think that's a good place to kind of like stick a pin in this we kind of like beat this one to death uh because it's it's, it's, it's bringing up some interesting questions and that's only part one. So if you've been excited about um, the the episode that we watch and the type of conversation that me and Rakai have, make sure you stick around for part two, which will be coming uh, right around the corner. But more importantly, uh, as you can see, Rakai can really get a lot deeper than your boy right here. I'm more of a surface level. Let's just talk about, you know, what's plainly right in front of my eyes. Rakai has the ability to to pull back the lift back the covers and, and point out some of the things uh, that strengthen the, the, the whole of the story. Story, and that is what his YouTube channel is just excellent at. And that, those are his deep dives. Rakai, can you tell the people how they get in contact with you? Absolutely. Um, see, and I'm, you know, even though I'm not focused on the screen on the camera right now, it's because my mind is moving a million miles, uh, miles a minute. And even though I thought that this episode was high mid, Mm -hmm. um, it does bring a lot of things into question. Sophie asked a great question in the chat okay. on the Discord. If you're not in Discord, get in Discord because we're having a grand old time and they're watching with us right now. <laughs> um, she asked, what if the gangers, what if they could reproduce? Oh. Hmm. Because remember when she, uh, when Cleves with the you know the glorified cattle prod she mm -hmm. stopped its heart he said it had an actual heart so if that is a difficult like the brain and the heart are super difficult um organs mm -hmm. to recreate in person so if you can recreate those and you can create cre recreate the reproductive ones mm. yeah Ooh, so i mean but yeah. you're talking about you're talking about a whole new species on this planet programmable matter and oh okay that's a whole that's a whole different offshoot of thinking <laughs> anyway this this is what my mind does and i kind of focus in on one thing and then i do a deep dive on it on different questions and things that i came up with mm -hmm. or sometimes with help from some of our wonderful people in discord it kind of had my mind start going off on a tangent mm -hmm. 
and I talk about it. I do a deep dive on that on my channel. So you can find me at youtube.com forward slash Nuke from the Ville, N-U-P-E-F-R-O-M-D-A-V-I-L-L-E. Because it's all about this, but it's got to be about this too. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, there's a link in the description for the Discord, and we will catch you on the next episode. All right, y'all take care. Peace.